Hey guys, this is your girl Cassie. Welcome back to my cooking channel. Today we are making this quick salad recipe with cod fish or aka mogui. Mogui is either in French or in Creole. Um, so let me show you guys what we are using for our recipe today. And uh, when I say it's fast and it's delicious, let's get started. And for our ingredients, I already prepared everything here. But the most important one is actually the codfish. Okay, this is the codfish or our mogul that we are using. Basically, I'll tell you what I do with it. But I already prepared the, the one that we are using. I just want you guys to see how it looks basically. Uh, so what I have done so I had this mogui here. I had it in water for a few hours and then, because it's really salty. And after that, what I have done, I boiled it. So I took that water out, pour it out, and then I boiled the mogui a bit. Not a, uh, for a long time, but I boiled it a bit. And then maybe like for two minutes or three minutes or so, just to take like more salt out. And then I threw away that water that I boiled it and then I debone it also okay and so what I have done while I was um, preparing this uh, codfish I actually in the water that I was using to boil it so I add a bit of lime in there just you know because it's still fish so we want um, to have any snail that may have been there out and here I have uh, two medium uh, cloves of garlic that I already cut here. I have half of these red onions. <clears throat> I have one, that was just like one plum tomato, but you don't have to add the tomato if you do not want to. And then also I have half of these red pepper and some fresh uh, parsley. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some capers um and then i am using these chickpeas uh basically that's very delicious it's very fast and then i just have um also most likely i may not need the salt i just have it here like i said there may be a little bit of salt left in there and then for here this is a uh, quarter of a teaspoon of this uh season uh seafood season that i'm using here and um, I have some dry herbs <clears throat> in here uh, but that's one teaspoon but it's up to you uh, which dry herbs uh, you want to use but my I I just uh, I'm not sharing <laughs> which one I'm using but you guys can use whatever flavor that you like and then this is like half of a teaspoon of this paprika here and uh, we're gonna get started and of course like some olive oil okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and drain these chickpeas here that i'm using okay and as you guys can see of course i like uh, organic uh, most of the time uh, so i'm using organic and i'm gonna go ahead and rinse these chickpeas okay because i do not want i'm not using the water basically that it comes with and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make our salad it's gonna be a warm salad but you can also have it uh, cold so it's up to you okay okay so i am gonna go ahead and pour some of this olive oil because I already had my pen here, it's already warm, okay, or hot enough. And I put like enough oil, I need you guys to see, okay. I put enough oil that it's covered like all the bottom of this pen here that I'm using. Okay. And, uh... <clears throat> And most likely what I'm gonna do <clears throat> I'm gonna go with my garlic first of course and I actually forgot to tell you guys 
I do have like a bit of hot pepper here. Um, that's really hard of this habanero pepper. But if you like to have it more, some people like, you know, more spice, you can add. But um, me sometimes I rather that, you know, people just add like the spices also sometimes uh, for certain things. I may not even use all of this because after all this is a salad so I do not want it to be too hot okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and add like my tomatoes and onion here okay <clears throat> So I'm gonna go ahead and have um, the uh, the stove. I'm gonna put it a bit higher here. <clears throat> like you guys can see. One moment. Okay. So this is our vegetable. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add my spices. That's really just for the vegetables here. I add my uh, mixed herbs. Um. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my paprika also, my smoked paprika, and then the spices here that I have. So it has like a bit of salt in it, but not a whole lot. Okay, I'm gonna turn everything here. And I'm gonna just have this spice in here for about two minutes because what I do not want also is for these vegetables to be overcooked. <clears throat> I want them to still be as a whole. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that pepper here. You see? This is how it looks. And Oh no, this. So it's flavorful, but there's not that much salt in here. Okay, I'm gonna add my fish, and I'm not gonna add any salt yet. Like I said, so the fish still has like some salt in it before I add anything extra as far as like salt. I want to make sure that. Um, the salt that's in the fish gonna infuse in here like in the vegetable so I don't want a whole lot in here see so yeah, how delicious this look <clears throat> I told you guys it's not that much uh, work but it's very delicious it's fast I'm gonna I'm adding uh, some peppers like black peppers in here a bit of flavor and then now uh, also some black peppers. I mean not black, but uh, white uh, peppers here. Yep. Okay. Still flavorful. And like I said, we're not going to let this cook a whole lot because not only I boil the fish and we don't want our vegetables to be overcooked uh, also. We want to be able to taste them, to fill them. And I'm going to go ahead and add my chickpeas. See? And we're going to turn everything together. Okay, that's the same. I say this is delicious and this is fast and basically right so I left the fish with a bit of salt in it therefore I am not adding no salt and truth is you you guys 
even the hot pepper that I added it's perfect and I'm gonna let this in slow I'm gonna let this because I want the chickpeas um, to get like the flavor of the fish so basically I'm gonna keep this here for three minutes or so and um, we are coming back in a minute so this is it so we had our <clears throat> we had our salad here with the fish and the uh, chickpeas so it was here for about five minutes really but really slow really low heat that I had it here and what I want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and add like the parsley and I add like a bit of um, I don't know, I got the name. Uh, okay. Why I just went blank? I have no idea. I, okay. I'm pretty sure, like, by the end, I, I will remember to tell you guys what it is. And then um, I also add a bit more of these red onions, okay? Um, because I don't want, I, I, I like to crunch that in there. After all, it's still a salad, although it's warm. Uh, it's still a salad, so we want to feel uh, the onion in here. Okay. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add also my capers. So I took like half of this small, I, I'm not measuring it. So that's really half of this uh, small little bottle here that I have I drain it and I'm adding papers in here there you go and I'm gonna mix everything oh so delicious hold on I'm gonna go ahead and taste again with everything in here so pretty much this is your salad it's delicious just one second i'm gonna but i'm gonna try it i'm gonna taste it so you guys can see oh my god when i say it's so delicious it's very delicious you have to try it this is something that you can have with your girlfriends or if you are hosting basically your brunch you can have that it's pretty delicious i'm gonna have that at my next brunch by the way brunch event please and so i am pairing this with sauteing which is a um dessert wine so it's really sweet and it's white so i'm usually not a big fan of dessert wine but this sauteing is not bad okay so Cheers to you guys, and I love the music also. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching my channel this week. Remember to subscribe, share with a friend, comment, please. Do tag me. It's Cassie's Creole Cuisine. Cassie's Creole and African Cuisine. So if you are tagging me on Instagram, it's Cassie's Creole Cuisine. That is totally fine. And I am on Facebook at just Cassandra.